What do you think about the term anti-aging? It is a bit of a misnomer, especially because aging begins as soon as we appear, so at birth, if you will, and continues with the passage of time. So that means, in fact, that we are all aging and that it is inevitable. Therefore, perhaps we could propose that what we might be interested in is living our very best life at whatever age we are. Knowing how to do this by addressing the sources of aging is where new skin has focused. Aging is nowadays intensely studied by many researchers. Does new skin as well? Yes, that's been really exciting for us. We leverage all the latest understanding from science along with the work that New Skin has done to evaluate approaches that actually optimize wellness and beauty over the duration of time. People who look younger than their age have good genes. Is that really true? It's not. So luckily, it's how we look when we age it when we age does not solely come down to our genetic makeup. In fact, many other important factors play a part too. These factors are really key since they are the ones we can control. So for example, we can have some ability to influence and most importantly, we can change them if needed. We can't control getting older, but there is an intricate interplay between what happens to our body internally from, for example, continuous daily wear and tear, as well as all the factors which affect our body from external sources. These are called intrinsic, internal, and extrinsic, external aging. So intrinsic aging happens when cellular processes within our bodies begin to slow down, or they just run less efficiently, while extrinsic aging is a result of how our environment can be impacted by lifestyle. What is the goal of studying aging and anti-aging science? The goal, in reality, is to understand what is happening and give us some insights into what we can do to help us look and feel the best we can for our age and can reach an appearance that you feel comfortable with. Can you summarize the current knowledge about aging? Much of the current information comes from studying identical twins. Now, twins contain the exact same genetic sequence or DNA. DNA is made up of a series of smaller genetic codes or genes, which collectively code for our biology and make us how we are and look how we look. So each person's DNA, genetic code or genes is different since we are all different as people, unless of course, you are an identical twin. And in this case, you share the same genetic code as your twin. So we might therefore think that identical twins with the same exact genetic code would age in the same way if genes were the full story. Our genes are not the full story. That's exactly right, and yes. And in fact, we've got so much information from studying identical twins and how they've aged. And it really illustrates some interesting things. So strikingly, as you said, the appearance of twins begin to look different as they start to get older. So as they reach more advanced ages, usually one twin may appear older than the other despite being the same age and having the same identical genes. So as scientists were curious, right? So we're asking, why is this? Why, why do they look different when they have the same genes? Well, investigators doing this work began to look at how the twins had lived their lives. In other words, the environment they lived in and the lifestyle choices they made gave us some really interesting clues on what was happening. What this showed was that there are some factors like smoking, sun exposure, outdoor activities without wearing sunscreen, which made individuals look older for their age. In fact, in some cases, individuals appeared older related to experiencing more stress, depression, or lack of sleep. 
While these individuals were genetically identical, because their exposure and their, ex their experiences differed, it resulted in variations in their gene expression to life or their environment. Variations in gene expression are therefore very important to influence aging, more than the gene itself. So the genes stay the same, the gene sequence stays the same, but the way the genes express themselves can differ. What this shows us is that we all have the ability to make some decisions over how we age with making those conscious changes during our lives, and they can be small changes, but making those conscious changes during our lives, we can impact the way we age. It's not all genetically programmed. The genetic reaction is also important here. Can you tell us what to do to impact the way we age? Yeah, and so there's some great tips, right? For things that we can do. So obviously there are some simple things that can help like using good and adequate sun protection, not smoking, we all know smoking's bad, making sure we get enough rest and manage stress levels. There are other things like managing exposure to pollution and perhaps making sure we have a full and adequate diet every day that might become challenging given the way we live today. For these reasons, we wanted to provide assistance with factors over perhaps which we do not always have control over. So at New Skin, we went one step further to really drill down on understanding aging and how we can intervene from a supplementation or a skincare perspective. Reducing caloric intake is one way to delay the signs of aging, correct? Yeah, it's a really interesting um, area of research because this seems to push cells to preserve existing biomolecules. And within time, this results in the removal of damaged cellular components while leaving the functional components in, in higher levels. In other words, cells become more efficient at keeping themselves functioning optimally and just clearing up the waste and getting rid of it. Researchers identified key ingredients in our diet that can influence our gene expression. Is that true? Yeah, we were very fortunate to um, have a partnership with um, these researchers. And we all want ourselves to be in the best condition they can be in. And so we studied and identified key families of genes related to aging characteristics with the goal of upregulating or downregulating gene expression in a way that mimics youthful gene expression profiles. Or in other words, helping the genes to continue to express or react in a way that mimics younger or youthful expression as opposed to older expression. This makes sense for improved or healthy skin appearance and wellness. So this is as well applicable to skincare ingredients. Continuing to use gene expression, we looked for further understandings of the impacts of different ingredients on skin. For example, in this study shown here, new skin researchers were looking to, benef to identify benefits from unique botanical extracts that were formulated into different types of product formulations. These specific ingredients can help the skin withstand the effects of daily stresses, such as sun, and or pollution exposure. In our work, we found that comparing the influence of stressors like UV exposure and particulate matter from pollution on a skin model cultured in a lab, treating the skin repl replica sorry, with these formulations containing the botanical extracts helped to reduce the stress response. This work suggests that using skincare products containing these ingredients are an important approach to help alleviate the impact of daily life on skin. What else can help us regulate gene expression? In other research, then new skin researchers went on to look at the effect that movement has on our skin cells. Mm -hmm. This was really important work at the time because it's, it was an area that just hasn't been well explored in skin science. So it was really new and 
The reason it hadn't been explored in skin science is because of the difficulty in studying and mimicking how skin moves in a way which could be which which could provide useful information. So what we did was we used skin cells called fibroblasts. These are cells that are found in skin and they produce important skin proteins. We demonstrated that a cyclic motion can increase the gene expression responsible for collagen, glycoaminoglycans called GAGs, for example, biglycan and decarin, and these are really important components of skin. New Skin's approach is to identify ingredients based on their ability to influence key sources of aging and improve skin structure, firming, uneven skin tone, and many others. Yeah, we, we found and shared the results with the scientific community starting in 2010, and we continue to work and publish in this area, growing the overall body of scientific evidence available in this field. Gene expression work has been very helpful to us. In fact, as you can see, we routinely investigate gene expression activity now to evaluate the efficacy of ingredients. However, we know that there is still more to understanding aging. It's not the full story. If we go back to the original work looking at the aging of twins, this data additionally showed that what we need for our bodies is different at different ages. That means that the requirements for our bodies are dynamic. That is, our needs are probably more variable than we thought, and that these requirements change as we age. Our body needs vary according to our age. Yeah, and interestingly, looking at research conducting on the twins, it showed us that the weight of our body is important in determining skin appearance. For example, having a higher BMI or body mass index can also impact our skin appearance. When we are younger, it can make us look a bit older. However, as we get over the age of 40, a little extra weight actually fills out the face and can help portray a younger look. What can we still expect from new skin researchers on anti-aging science? So lots of exciting things because we, we continue to explore as scientists, right? That's what we love to do. So just like being at the forefront with our gene expression work, we continue to explore areas we can use to provide even more effective means to living our best life and looking our best. As such, New Skin is now looking into the very exciting area of how beauty and wellness connect together. The traditional way to provide benefits for skin is by putting on skin lotions, and that is still a great approach. However, we also know now that the skin often reflects how well our bodies are functioning, which are also influenced by how we live our lives and our lifestyle choices. This means that having a healthy body and making healthy lifestyle choices can really affect the way that we look. The link between wellness and beauty was already highlighted in some studies, correct? Yes, for sure. However, there needs to be much more work. New Skin has always had some interest in this area, but we're really delving deeper into this. In 2023, New Skin R&D published a joint paper in cosmetics that focused on the important role that healthy lifestyle factors plays in skin appearance. This article reviewed the latest research available in this subject and discussed factors like nutrition, sleep, physical activity, and in even interpersonal relationships on maintaining youthful appearance. We're only just beginning to scratch the surface of this exciting new area. Some many interesting things, but it's time for a quick summary. Well, you know us at New Skin, we never stand still. So yes, more to come, but let's sum up. How we think about anti-aging is changing. Instead of thinking about anti-aging, we propose that what we really need to think about is being able to live our best lives, being able to do whatever we want at whatever age we are. That is a truly worthy goal. This is where New Skin is positioned to leverage and contribute the scientific data. Our work started by looking at the sources of visible signs of aging through gene expression profiles and has extended to include many other sources of aging, including those related to lifestyle, as well as how healthy our body is. 
While anti-aging isn't something that can be ultimately accomplished, living a youthful life can. New Skin R&D has been investigating this and will continue to not and not just follow, but be at the forefront of the research.